Okay, welcome to this short film, How Exactly Do I Write a Good Bibliography on My A-Level English Essay. Bibliographies um, are basically a list of the sources that you've used to help you prepare the essay. They go at the end of your essay on a separate sheet, and they show the reader what books, websites, articles and sources you've used, and they do not count towards your word limit. Okay, but they're a good thing to do. Um, you are expected to include a bibliography. Um, and it will make your less essay look much more professional um, if you can include it and show what reading around the topic that you've done. Okay, here's a poor example. They've got word count, fair enough, but then it just says references, new Longman literature, educating reader, Wikipedia, and YouTube. Very vague. I think about all the stuff that's on YouTube, but we need a bit more information than that. It's, it's a waste of time writing that, really. Um, this is a bit better because it gives some web links, um, but it's only web links and it doesn't say what it is. I mean, you don't really understand from that what the article that they've used is. So that's pretty poor as well. This is much better. Um, so you've got Francis Larocq is the name of the author of the um, article. Okay, whatever they've used. The article is called Popular Festivity in the Cambridge Companion to Shakespearean Comedy. So that's the book. Notice they've italicised the titles of the books. Edited Alexander Leggett. Um, and in 2002. So it's telling us who the writer of the article is, what the article's called, what the book it's from is called, and who edited the book, and when it was published. All right, that is pretty good. Susan Snyder, the genre of Shakespeare's plays in A Cambridge Companion to Shakespeare. Now, if you've got the um, stuff that I gave you, the articles that I gave you, um, I've written this information on the photocopies. Andrew Stott, Comedy, 2005. Okay, so that's much better, and that would do the job pretty much. Here, if you want to go a step further, Bibliography, um, if you do it like um, Bl uh, Harold Bloom, Bloom Harold, Shakespeare, the Invention of the Human, that's the book. Now, interesting, actually, they haven't in this one. Uh, the only problem with this is they haven't been consistent. If you see here, they've not italicised the title of the book. And then here, uh, they have italicised the title of the book. The point there is just to try and be consistent. I would italicise it. Um, but make sure you do the same for each one. Okay. The thing that this person's done as well is that they've said who published it. They've, they've mentioned the publishing house, uh, Riverhead Books. They've said where it was published and when. I mean, this is sort of university standard um, bibliographies. That's what you will be expected to do in, um, at university. So feel free to do that if you want to now. So you've got um, Schwartz, Deborah B. Comedy is the name of the chapter or the article in Comedy, uh, the name of the book. And it's California Polytechnic University, published uh, 2012. Priestley JB, that's the name of the writer. Um, that's the name of the article. This is the, the book it's from. Um, and this is when it's published. All right, so that's how you do it. That's what we're aiming to do. Please don't do something like that. It's a waste of time. You'd be better off without one. Um, but there's no reason why you can't include something like that or like that. I suppose here is an example of the website, isn't it? Where because they've chosen an article from a website, they've said what the website is, they've said when they access the website, and and they've given the link to the website. Okay, but what they haven't just done is said I got it off Wikipedia. All right, great. Have fun doing that. Oh, um, get back to me if you have any questions.